Another round of peace talks between Russia and Ukraine are underway near the border. Despite this, the intense fighting rages on. Russian forces continue to bombard major Ukrainian cities at this hour, inflicting heavy damage. More than one million people have now fled the country in just a single week. It is Thursday afternoon, and the big story on Action News is Russian forces battling to take control of strategic cities in southern Ukraine following days of bloodshed. That's right, a second round of talks taking place in Belarus right now. The first round ended Monday without any significant breakthrough. This morning, Russian President Vladimir Putin told <laughs> France's Emmanuel Macron that military action in Ukraine will continue. Authorities say 34 civilians, more civilians, were killed by Russian attacks on the Kharkiv region in just the last 24 hours. Despite setbacks, though, Ukrainian forces still mounting a staunch defense. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky told the Russian troops today to, quote, go home. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington now with an update. Right now, Ukrainian forces in an urgent and fierce battle to keep major cities in government control amid heavy Russian missile attacks. The onslaught from invading Russian troops hitting clear civilian targets like this university in the country's second largest city, Kharkiv. These aren't military targets. They are places where civilians work and families live. Ukrainian forces bracing for that miles-long Russian military convoy, located 17 miles north of the nation's capital, Kyiv. U.S. officials say it has stalled, bogged down in part, due to logistical issues, fuel and food shortages, and fierce fighting by the Ukrainians. And a big reason why it stalled uh, is Ukrainian resistance. Western intelligence sources say Russian forces appear to have already encircled five major Ukrainian cities. The Russian military claiming it now controls the city of Kherson in the south. As the Kremlin's attacks intensify, Ukrainian officials say Russia's war has killed more than 2,000 people in just eight days. ABC's George Stephanopoulos questioning Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov today, live on Russian television. The world is seeing civilians being killed in Ukraine by Russian bombs. The world is hearing the lies Russia is telling about those attacks. How can you defend them? I cannot comment conjectures. Inside Ukraine's largest children's hospital, sick children moved to the basement for shelter. Dr. Oleg Gordik saving lives while also sheltering in the hospital with his family. His 17-year-old daughter working as a nurse. I believe in uh, maybe in future, tomorrow. And the White House is asking Congress for $10 billion in humanitarian and military aid for Ukraine. That request could be approved as soon as next week. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News. Well